Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. And this is in this chapter we talk about work and energy. Let's look at the first problems. This one is simple. They tell us we have a hammer, right? The mass of hammer is given. And then the hammer just fall down, hit the nail. And the distance it fall down is given. And also the mass of the hammer is given. Ask you the maximum amount of work this hammer act on this nail. So in this one, we need to know the work. So for work, we need to know the force times the displacement, cosine theta, right? And this force just come from gravity of the hammer. So it is mg. The displacement d is just 0.5 meter. The angle theta is zero because you can see both the displacement, the motion, and the force moves down. So in this way, we have get fd cosine theta zero so it become fd and f is mg so we get this work must be mgd in this way you can see m is given and d is given g is a constant 9.8 meter per second square therefore you can get the work very easily the next one why do people not just let it down and but add their own forces to the hammer so you can see because this work this this for this work equal to f times d right this F, if we add the force on the hammer, hammer, so this force will increase. The force increase makes the work increased. So the person will do more works on this nail. Do you agree? After we input the numbers inside, we get the final answer for this work, 9.8. And also, if we if the person added a light force to the hammer, so during the force, so this one will get do more work. It will get more energy. Thank you.